So hello everybody, and I thought I would give you a quick look around uh, the new base, so you can sort of understand why it's taken a while for it to appear and everything else. Um, so, as you can see, I did tell you everything's being done different. So that will be Max's room, that will be Kel's room. We'll come across, and then there'll be a room for Kate, then there'll be a room for Ingrid. There'll be a room for Quinlan, a room for Tegan, and then we're going to start building up all the main sort of bunk rooms and all the rest of it. This over here, I need to put a door up this way as well, is your, basically is your bathrooms. One is male, one is female, and this is your locker area, you know, so there will be lockers and everything going up in here. Now, I know you are used to me, sort of, and if you take a look around, you can actually see how big she is. She's not the smallest place. I actually have like seriously gone all out on this one again. Um, now, if you come downstairs, uh, you'll see some of it, um, some of the details are already starting to appear. Um, I just built a bed there because it was night time and I needed some sleep. So this will, will actually be using the letters. Um, uh, I try and remember where they are. Oh, they're around here somewhere. The letters and actually writing up what everyone is. So this is your records office. Um, and here you are, or some of the books. I um, There's more up here, but I sort of ran out of paper again, so I'm gonna have to go and buy more of them. So, right, I'll tell you what, I'll take you outside and then bring you in and let you see what it looks like. Now, if you're wondering how there's 16 people and all, I basically used USO um, to bring myself in some people. So, what I've discovered in USO, and I didn't actually know this. Well, I did know that we had certain things, but I didn't actually know that we had some of these little extras running around here. Now, where did it go? See if I can remember where I, fa where I found all the stuff. It would be amazing, people. It really would. Um... no guarantee of that, you know how uh, ditzy I can be at times, NPC. So we can do animals, as you can see, we're going to need some food through for that, which is no problem, I want to throw a thing line between everything we'll be flying. We have children, boy, girl, you need, for a boy you need gumdrops, and um, for a girl you need bubblegum. We have NPC guards, as you can see, Brotherhood of Seed Soldier, Children of Adam, uh, legendary guard, raider guards, you know, whatever you want. Um, merchants, we have a general merchant, faction merchants, and specialists. So specialists here are the Abraxo trader, a book trader. Now that's the trader that I actually went and got myself when I went and raided all that paper. I raided the paper from the uh, library, and I also raided uh, Cuberus Comics and got through the book trader. So you have the butcher trader as well. You also have a covert trader, a farming trader, a florist, historical trader, we've got one on the right, Nuka Cola, pre war goods, red rocket trader, uh, super mutant trader, a toy trader, I need to get more sugar bombs, uh, tribal trader, we've got one on the right, an undertaker, vault tag trader, and bin trader. So, um, general NPCs, as you can see, pillar of the community, you know things like that. Now what we have actually got are clones. This is so cool. So we have a Nate clone and my Nate right now, well as you can see we actually also have a Richter clone. We will actually find something for him to do. I have no idea what but we've got a Richter clone. Why the hell not? Couldn't resist him. So I have a clone of my Nate over here and we're going to, for some reason they've all sort of stuck themselves in this corner. I have no idea why. So Settlement Construction Trader, we'll put there. Uh, tribal Trader, we'll put there. Red Rocket Trader, we'll put over there. Ball Tag Trader, we'll put there. They, they all just walk back into this corner for some reason. I have no idea what their obsession with this corner is. I really don't, people. So, um, as you can see, Robotics, Undertaker, and this one is pre-war goods 
and where did, and as you see I've got my security people here, where did my Nate go, does anybody, <laughs> has anybody seen Nate, and this is actually an oil, look, refining oil rig, I just decided it was like I seen it, I was like, cool I want an oil rig, I have no idea why I want an oil rig, but I want an oil rig. We did have a net around here somewhere. I'm not happy. Look, we've even got a bunny rabbit. I wonder where Nate has wandered off to. Jiggy's made his way back to sanctuary. We are missing one Nate. So, but I don't know where my nate has gone, so I'm just going to have to build another nate, because I'm missing a nate. So, as you can see, we actually do have a lift inside, um, and this is it. Now, it, she, isn't, she isn't getting like turrets and all that stuff like the last one did. This is just a base. This is a massive brotherhood of steel base for everybody, you know, because that ship ain't holding enough. So... We are going all out this time, compared to how we did last time, this time we are going to go all out. So as you can see, these also come with a USO mod, and they do snap on. These walls don't, unfortunately. So my idea is, you come in in your power armor, and you want to actually get out of your power armor. So we have a bay here for everybody to store their power armor. I will be putting, I'll be going and finding suits and throwing suits in here and all the rest of it. So, you know, we have got other things up here for working on them. I will be putting up little benches and dropping down tools. It's why I keep saying I'm over encumbered. It's because basically I have all these sort of uh, things on top of me. This will be Ingram's office. We'll be putting her down on a um, desk and a couple of other things and you know, like stuff being taken apart and everything else as well. This is our lift. Now the reason we have the lift is basically it goes up four floors but it is basically to take us all the way up to if somebody comes in with a medical emergency we are going to have a proper hospital area in this place as well. So I went all out, as you can see, we actually have a proper kitchen. You know, like a proper mess. There's Nate. Look. My little Nate. It's so nice to have him back. There actually is a mod for the PC and the Xbox where you actually can get your partner back, unfortunately, because of the problems with the four um, scripts we a PS4 scripts we can't actually get them we can't get them back so I've got a Nate clone I'm a happy guard so <laughs> um, and as you can see I did actually go all out making my Nate you know I don't know why but I've got Nate back so what we've got here is you go up here we are going to go and get trays you pick up your food tray from here you go along here you pick up whatever you want you can pick up a glass here we'll try and get glasses and cups you can take a drink from the dispenser or you can get a coffee and there's ice here down the bottom you actually have got nuka and you've got vim and you've got a cigarette machine over here now i'm not sure whether to make this the officer's area or the bar it's probably going to be the officer's area but we actually have a maxin clone over there there you are we have a clone of maxin we're actually going to put that one on the ship and bring the real maxin over here so if the ship gets blown up maxin's alive don't worry about it so, and these sofas actually come with the USO mod as well. Um, it's literally, this place is bossed to the extreme at the moment. As for the kitchen, here as you can see we have all the fridges. I will be putting loads of food into the fridges and things like that. We've got the sinks, you want to wash your hands before you're working with the food. Uh, we've got all the, kitchen, all the cookers and the cookers do actually work as far as I know, I'm not sure. This is where we've got the electric and we're actually using the glitch. Um, the rug glitch to take it all the way up and through. Um, this is where the, pa the, the wire was basically going, so it's just like, right, okay, we'll just lock that off. Here is where we're gonna actually bring in some food and boxes and things like that, so it's like a pantry. And the reason it's on the stone is because you want it kept cool. Um, this is where, like, plates and everything else. What I'm actually gonna do is get shelves and see if I can get trays to sit on the shelves, you know, so that's like, Basically, the food goes out that side and comes back in the side, dirty trays and everything else. And then I know they're laundry sinks, people, but it's the best I can do for washing. So that's for them there. Um, then, 
as you can see we have actually got stars too so we go out this way now this corridor is massive it's it's way too big to me it's like hmm I'm not happy about that but hey so here as I said we have got the records and Quinlan's people and all the rest of it um, I do need to make more so what I'm more than likely going to do is actually put an office here and an office here um, and an office at the side here for like different people so we can shrink down this room um, I don't want to say on that we have actually made a four floor so here we're going to have the downstairs bathrooms for anybody that's just needing to run to the blue and upstairs as I said we have actually got our bedroom area um, and as I say that one's got to be Max and that one will be Kells and then that one will be whoever you know so it is a proper base I'm not sure whether I should have used the four story lift or the three story would have done you know but well I mean one more story for the hospital and then the top story will actually be the roof so I suppose four story actually does this and as I say in here we will actually have a lot of uh, lockers and um, we're going to have benches and things like that and actually turn it into a locker room and um, we have actually got two separate shower rooms um, unlike the last time where it was just one room that was divided off with these in the middle we're not doing that this time we're actually this is why it's taken me so long is it literally going all out organizing the rooms so this will go across three and then literally it will lock off and then that will be a room there as well and then we'll have a room here and then a room here and then we'll actually just do like maybe a few different sort of like bunk rooms or you know whatever um so it, that's basically why you know it, it, and then we're going to go up and we'll have the hospital what else we'll have with the hospital i have no idea now the problem with the lift is the lift is taller than what i've actually got so what i've actually done is i've got the lift in and here i've actually got from the warehouse mod our warehouse i've actually put this here and then steps going down onto the floor and i've had to use these little square ones to get the floor to actually fit in and then block this up here and all the rest of it so it was just to give you a quick sort of look at what what it is that i've got going on at the moment for this big build as i say what happened with me losing that other build and that coming up saying save corrupt it was literally it, it was because playstation 4 basically what happens is you can only save so much and playstation 4 will basically come up refusing to save anymore and telling you that your memory you cannot you cannot have any more saves so you have to delete all the saves before so basically all of my things all of a sudden end up on one save and if that one save comes up save corrupt i lose that entire build and that's basically what happened and it's happened quite a few times now i know people are going to say mods no this was happening before mods you know what i mean this isn't the first time that this has happened on me and it's just come up saying save corrupt um and it, it, before ps4 got mods it was happening on me so it, i don't know what it is um as i say when I've got myself sort of, sort of like a little bit sorted and more stable and things like that, I will of course at some point be investing in an Xbox One so I can see all those mods that I can't get for the PlayStation um, whenever time uh, is, you know, and I can, I will actually be getting the, the PC and all the rest of it, the gaming PC, but for now it's PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 being a pain in the neck with me. Um, so I'm going to fly off here. Hello Tops. I'm going to fly. You actually can have a clone dance by the way. So I should let you see who all your clones are. So you can have Nate. You can actually have Nora. You can have a Sean clone. Kate. Curry. Dance. Uh, Deacon. Hancock. So you can have a clone of all of your um, companions. As you can see. And then you can have a clone of Desdemona, Maxim, which we've got downstairs. You can have a father clone. You can have a Mechanist clone. You can have Avery. You can have Dima. You can have Tactus. Uh, you can have Lizzie. Or you can have Mags, Mason, you know, I mean, Nisha. So it covers like a Coulter as well. Why you would want Coulter or any of those ones is beyond me. Uh, William Black, 
Glory, Kellogg, Magnolia, Tinker Tom, Andre, Chase, Richter, as you see, is running around out there. Uh, Cito, Zara, Dixie, Savoy, Sierra, Rowdy, Zeke, and Gary. So you can have like loads and loads and loads of them. You can have all the robots. So if you want like um, a Saltatron, you can have a Saltatrons. Um, I bought Handy's Protectrons or Synths. And here you can have uh, Standard Settler Beacon. Now this one's brilliant. Standard Settler Beaker, Beacon Summon, right? Then you have one for female only and one for male only. And then you have one for ghoul settlers or you can have one for super mutant settlers. So you can actually make it a super mutant settlement if you want a super mutant settlement. You're call people. So, right, well, I'm going to run off here and try and get this sorted out and start moving some of these people inside the building so that they can stop sort of running into a corner. And I shall see you all soon, peeps.